Hello and welcome back. I'm so glad to see each of you. My name is Sarah Sturman. I am our new librarian for this year. I've had an eclectic work history. I've taught elementary for several years, left it twice, saying never again. Uh, I finally, I worked for some uh, various nonprofit organizations, but when I came to middle school, I found home. I have a total of 13 years teaching experience. I'm currently in the master's program at the University of North Texas to get a master's of library sciences. I have three hearts on my slide just to tell you some things about me that I'm interested in. Books is probably a softball, but my life isn't as exciting as you might imagine, and books truly are one of the things I enjoy the most. But I want you to be thinking about what your hearts would be, because I want to know. And now I have these three things that I want you to know about my time as librarian here. First, I am not here to add work to your plate. Ideally, I'm helping you get things off of your plate. Think of me as just an extra person in your PLCs, your department meetings, faculty and CIT meetings, whatever meeting that you have, I'm going to try to make it there on a regular basis. And if I can't make it there, I want to hear from you either way. But I want to know all the different ways that I can support you. Which brings me to my next point. I want you to consider me an integral part of this campus's college and or career prep team. The American Association of School Librarians establishes standards for librarians and our students based on six common beliefs. One of these beliefs is that learners should be prepared for college, career, and life. And as you'll see on the slide, they elaborate on it in it by saying this, school librarians improve all learners' opportunities for success. This success empowers learners to persist in inquiry and community participation through continuous improvement within and beyond the school building and school day. Here on our campus, we do have a strong legacy of college readiness and college prep. And for, so for the sake of this meeting, I am gonna focus on what we can do for career readiness. Emily McDaniel in the article, Trading Book Bags for Backpacks, How School Libraries Help the Workforce, details some ideas to assist students to prepare for the workforce. One is the Work Readiness Club. Okay, that is my title, not Emily's. But the Work Readiness Club is something that I would like to have every during Viking time at least once a month. It'll include basics about getting a job, like filling out applications and performing interviews, but also about what we do to keep a job as far as showing initiative, um, time management, collaboration. There will also be some strengths finders where students can figure out where their strengths lie. Within the Work Readiness Club, we'll also have an opportunity for students to create a vlog, a video blog of a career of their interest, which brings me to another point that we will catalog and house those vlogs for all of our students to peruse and to be able to see a career of interest in video. So it will be using, utilizing our students' creativity to create it in the first place, and it will be available for the rest of our students to see and use. Another crucial skill in career readiness that we are all aware of is technology literacy. Now we all know society thinks that because our students do know how to program the remote control, they can operate most apps that they are technologically literate. But you and I know that they don't know a spreadsheet from a bedsheet or a Word document from a Word search. Leslie Farmer in her article, Ready to Get Students College or Career Ready, What's the Teacher Librarian's Role? details how technology literacy is an important aspect of career readiness that the library can also integrate into a school system and curriculum. Of course, I'll be working with our counselors and making the most of career day to use ideas from there, but I'd love to have any hear any ideas that you have also. I'm always eager to hear any ideas that you would have about that. I also have one last thing that I need you guys to hear from me and to know my favor can be bought with Coke Zero. If it's a really big favor uh, from Sonic with Lime, it would be appreciated. But now that you know all that about me, there here are three things that I want to know from you. First, what is your most pressing need from me? What can I do to get um, work off of your plate right now? 
Do you have technology needs? Do you have lesson plans needs? Do you have resources? Uh, I do not know a massage guy, but I will look one up if that is what you need the most. How can I help you? Number two, what do you see as our campus's biggest gaps in work readiness? Where can we best assist our students in to be what our district calls Frisco Future Ready? What am I leaving out in my um, hopes to get our students career ready? And I want to know what your three are. I want to um, know if you can be bought with a food product. I want to know uh, your three loves and interests. Let me know. Here are all of my credits and citations. And of course, thank you so much. And you can find me at my email.